This is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday, the final from Purcell Pavilion and the Joyce Center. 92-63 to Notre Dame is now 8-1 and at the top of the conference in the ACC with that record with its win over Wake Forest. Tom Wormby, Debbie Antonelli with you here courtside. And Deb, five different players get into double-figure scoring for Notre Dame, and that spelled a lot of trouble for Wake Forest today. Boy, there's a lot of balance on this Notre Dame team. They run the floor hard. They cut with a purpose. They share the basketball. They do all the detail things that you expect a top-five team to do. Look what they did on the offensive end of the floor today. Another day at the offense. They shot 52% from the floor above their average, assisted on 19 of their 34 field goals, 48 points in the paint, 42 points off their defense. They did a terrific job of playing great team D, very aggressive, going for steals with a steal score, steal score mentality. That's Lindsay Allen. She gets out on a break after her steal. And then Notre Dame, a piece of the paint. Allen, very aggressive at the point of their offense. And that makes them all better because she can get a piece of the paint, kick, the offensive rebound. Lindsay Allen, one of five players in double figures. They also have the ability to go inside. And today, I usually talk offense with Muffin McGraw. I had to ask her about her defense. You know, we've been working on the press. I think Madison Cable was outstanding. She plays the passing lane so well, both ends of the floor. Is does, she can pressure in the backcourt. She can come off on the weak side help, and that's where she got a lot of her steals today. Now, I know this is a big win for you, but I also know that you see the bigger picture. This pass going to get us to the Final Four. This cut going to get us to the Final Four. There were some details in your work today that didn't look like you were happy about. What do you need to work on? I thought we were sloppy in the post. I, I thought early on, I thought uh, we just didn't come out ready in the post. I thought Lindsay Allen had a really good game. I thought Madison Cable played very well, but I think we were careless with the basketball and defensively we had some uh, just some minor things we can fix. We always knew Lindsay Allen can run your offense. I know you've been asking her to be more aggressive. Is she playing on both ends of the floor at the level that you expect? She really is. I, I think she's doing a phenomenal job. She knows when to drive it, when to pass it. She's making her shots. Uh, she's getting to the free throw line and she's a terrific free throw shooter. So I'm really happy with her. Thank you, coach. And Deb, to Wake Forest's credit, they tried to come back in the second half, made it a 10-point game about midway through, and then the Irish goes on a 22-3 run. And it was their defense because they really challenged Wake Forest ball handling skills. Their ability to dribble, their ability to pass, they shut down passing lanes, they gapped up their defense, and I thought their defensive effort was the difference in the game and allowed them to go on that run because when they steal it, they run the floor. You can't catch them. Their team speed is terrific with their perimeter game. Notre Dame gets another victory in the ACC. The Irish now 8-1 and one with the win against Wake 92-63. And this is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.